Hello folks, this is Jeffrey G 3289 here, and welcome to my 50th gameplay of the Pokemon Training Card Game Online for the PC. I'm going to feature a new deck that I surprisingly hadn't made before, I thought I wish I thought it did. It's my Mega Alakazam EX deck. It's bringing back one of my favorite EXs in the, uh, EX pairs in the, uh, the la during the last year. Oh my god, I'm going to the wrong list. I'm supposed to go my deck, my, my, my collection. So let me go back, let me go back, let me get out of that. There we go, deck manager. I'm gonna start the list right here. My friend, it's one of my new fairy decks to play right now, actually. Thought I made a video for a while ago, I guess, but I didn't. Here it is. I'm gonna lay it out right here. So the point of the deck is to spread as much damage as you can with my Alakazam EX and my Malak Al Mega Alakazam EX. I'm gonna do Alakam Alakam Alakazam EX's ability. It's 160 HP, basic, basic Pokemon EX. Village is called Kanisha. It says when you play Mega Alakazam EX for your hand to evolve this Pokemon, before it evolves, you may put two damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon and three damage counters on one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So you pretty much spread into the active and the bench, and so you can try to get numbers with the number Al Mega Alakazam, so you can knock out big, big Pokemon over here. Here's Mega Alakazam EX to evolve form. Stage uh, Mega Pokemon, Mega Pokemon EX. It has 28 HP for t one Psychic and one Colorless. It has Zen Force. 10 base damage, but it does 30 more damage for each damage counter on the opponent's active Pokemon. So if you keep using uh, Mega Alakaz Alakazam's ability and get, get many Al Mega Alakazam's out, you can potentially hit be hitting for at least the most you can hit is, uh, for 250 damage, which pretty much knocks out anything. Only for two energy, that's not, that is not so bad. I also play a bunch of other spiders in this deck too, which I'm gonna lay right here. Okay, so I play my Pokemon are one Orangaroo. Pretty much as they with the destructibility, draw once through your turn, you can draw up to three cards up to you have three cards in hand. Like I like this better than Shimmy X, is is a one pass attacker instead of a two pass attacker for the X's. And it, it gives you uh draw options. It just gives you got late game end to like two or one or something like that. So I like I, it's my favorite um, draw supporter. Draw a Pokemon in this game. I play two of the baby table table Coco for two grass and uh two energy double colors energy, does fly and flip. Does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon, so I put that's another part of spreading. So I spread. I, it's a good first turn spread. So let's say we're going first, second, and they and they you have a, this active. You can just uh, attach a double colorless energy. You can just spread, get your spread it, spread it early, and then Mega Alakazam can set up finish up the knockouts. I play the four four line of the Alakazam, which I, Mega Alakazam line, which I pretty much explained earlier. I played one Espeon EX, so which is pretty interesting tech in this deck. So pretty much as the one colorless energy and his attack calls Miraculous Shine. You deal about each of your opponent's evolved Pokemon and put the highest stage evolution card onto to your opponent's hand. So let's say on a stage two deck like Gardevoir GX or uh, like um, Kalispa GX. If they evolve it with a red candy and I get 60 damage on that Gardevoir and I use I have Espeon to attack with energy on it. I can pretty much de evolve it and knock out the Rolts or any other Pokemon they evolve to. So... With a bunch of energy so, so it stops them. It's pretty interesting attack. It's one of my favorite attacks actually. Since Espeon the EX is one of my favorite EV, my second my favorite evolution. So my uh Espeon GX back in the day. That's why I play it. I also play uh two Hooper EX, which ability is called Scoundrel Ring. When you play this Pokemon to evolve you onto your bench, you can search your deck up to three Pokemon EX to set for itself. And that search it and you show them to them and you pull it to your hand. Pretty much pretty much get my albums Alakazam's Quickly into my bench so I can get my Megas evolving very quickly. And, that, and that's okay. And I also play one Tabu Lele GX, pretty much with the one attack ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hands onto your bench during your turn, you must search your deck for a supporter card and put, reveal it and put it to your hand. And then shuffle your deck, which is a pretty good basic tech. It gives you that consistency so you can start to support it just because you want another one. All you need is a quick turn supporter, that's pretty much it. Okay, now we go to the trainers now. Play two Field Blower. Which chooses up to two of any combination of Pokemon 2 and Stadium cards and discard them. So pretty much with the Gobble Toxin Double Door, which had the ability uh, Gobble Toxin. If it has a 2 on it, any Pokemon with abilities is negated. So I, uh, they have no abilities, so pretty much I could just... I use them to get rid of those abilities because my deck is very ability to remind me of Mega Alexam, Rangaroo, Hoopa, and Tapu Lele. So I need... Those, those cards are very important, I guess, the matchup. So, next card I play is one Super Rod. I shovel three of any combination Pokemon and basic energy cards to my Discord power to my deck. 
So pretty much I can search my, my Alexandra I lost, or my Lele if I lost, or any energy, psychic energy I lose as well. I play four Super Scoop Up. If you flip a coin ahead, put one of your Pokemon and all the cards attached to it to your hand. It pretty much got came back when this uh, Burning Shadows came out. It was rotated out because this was an older set. So I used these to scoop, scoop up my Alakazams. My Alakazams, and then you can use the abilities on an Alakazam again. And also, like, if someone's very, heavily damaged from an attack, I can scoop, try to scoop it up. And then uh, save it from getting it knocked out. Okay, I played four Trouble, pretty much the uh, basic Pokemon Gather. You just got two cards from your hand, you get a Pokemon, any Pokemon. Put, we really put it to your hand, so I search my Hoopers, my Galaxams, or my Lele too, just in case. Okay, then I play uh, one, uh, my support line, two Ace Roller, a new supporter from Burning Saddles. Who says, put one of your Pokemon that has any damage counters under it and all cards to your hand. So let's say if I have an Alakazam that is damaged heavily, a Mega Alakazam that's damaged heavily, I could just use Ace Roller, put it back to my hand, and then evolve it again, and then just attack again, with, again hopefully. I play two Guzma, the new uh, Lysander in this deck, which switches one of my opponents back to one of my active. If I do, I switch my active on my bench. So let's say if I have a Tackle Coco, which is pretty retreat pretty much, I can switch into it and then retreat again. And then hopefully get uh, knock out the key Pokemon that's very heavily damaged to my uh, Tackle Coco or Mega Alexander's abilities. So I play one Lily, draws cards into you to have six. If it's my first time draw to have eight, which is a pretty good, another good, pretty draw supporter, especially on the first turn or either. Do it in the middle of the game if I'm I stuck I'm stuck on cards or something so I can pretty much draw that. Okay, four N basic staple. Each player solves the heads to their hand into the his or her deck, and then each player draws a card for each of the remaining prize cards. So let's say if it's a good late game, um, if they get like my opponent has like one prize left, I pretty much end them down. Hopefully, I, they can struggle till I come back in the game. Hopefully, and then I play four one actually one Pokemon Fan Club with searching my deck to up to two basic Pokemon and we'll be able to put in my hand. So this will search in my Hoopa EX and my Lele, my Lele GX, and also any uh, Alexams or Cocos I need. I I like this one better, the Bridger in this case because I, I'm a pretty, it's pretty EX heavy. So Bridger only search on one EX, and then Pokemon Final search for two, any two Pokemon. I play one Professor Kukui. I draw two cards, and then during the turn it does 20 more damage to my Pokemon, to uh to their Pokemon. So this is pretty much good draw support, and also I can hit for numbers too as well. Which is pretty important. Then I play four versus Sycamore, pretty much the number one stable card in any deck. Just go ahead and draw seven. Pretty much no explanations there. Then I play four Alakazam Spirit Link. I, my turn does not end if I evolve into Mega Alakazam. Normally, if you do evolve into a Mega, and if you don't have a Spirit Link, your turn ends automatically. So I like to get them all into the same turn. So I'd rather have them in the same turn so I can pretty much do other actions as well. Then I play three Floatstone. Which uh, says the Pokemon attached card attached has no retreat, so I would use it to retreat my Hoopa or my Orangu because they are very heavily retreat. They have two retreat each. So it's pretty much helpful for that as well. My energy line is four double colorists for my Coco ability and also for my Mega Alexam too, so I can attack with that too, so I'm getting Sutra Psychic. And my eight Psychic Energy. There's the explanation of that, so let's get to a game real quick with it. Hopefully, I can get a good game with it. Test to see if this get that in action. Okay, so let's get to the ladder. And click on Mega Alexam. And hopefully this deck, hopefully I can get a win with this deck. And hopefully I can showcase it. Okay, here we go. I will be playing against Mega Fly Guy 58 5, which is which is look like I'm playing against a volcano deck, so I need to spread here with Coco. So the evolution line is not gonna really help me in this catch. Okay? He's gonna flip. It's Coco and I use Mega Alexam to finish him off. Because Volcano has 180, so if I do 20 damage and I evolve it to a Mega. So I can hit for uh, 170, but I will need the Akukuri too as well. So I want to spy at least once or twice in this game. Okay, so I lost the coin flip, so let's say he's, he's most likely going to go first. Yep, he does. Okay, let's see how my hand is. Hopefully I get a good hand. Okay. Oh, this is a pretty decent hand. I got two mega, two like I said, I can start with real quick. I can also lay it for a fan club, so I can search at Hoopa and Coco. So I'm going to uh, start with Mega Alakazam. So I'm going to have my Coco, I'm going to have Coco up front, pretty much, so I can start spreading early. Drop my Alakazam. Okay, 
So he's gonna start off with Turninator GX. Pretty much has, has the Nitro Tank GX a, a, a tag, which pretty much says you can search, take fire energy from the discard pile and uh, attach it to any Pokemon fire fire energy to any way you, any way you like. So, so you draw out this Layla's gonna search up for a Sycamore, which is interesting. I thought you searched for an N here. Attaches the fire energy, attaches the choice band, plays a max elixir, which misses. Plays another max elixir. Now what hits this time? Max elixir says you look at the top six cards, you find an energy, basic energy, you attach it to one of your bench Pokemon. Plays a similar six cards, two more fire energy. So we see a Volcanion. Another max elixir dropping down. So what hits two, he's gonna attach it to the Lele again. And then it passes the turn. Okay, so I'm going to. For my Lele, I'm going to search for Pokemon Fan Club. It was not prized. And it's not, so I'm going to search for it. I'm going to play the Fan Club, searching for Hoopa and, and Coco. And they're both here, very good. I will play down a Hoopa. Searching for only one Alakazam. The full four like Alakazam is in the deck, which is good. Okay, so I've dropped out Alakazam. I'm gonna drop out Coco. Okay, I'm not going to. I'm gonna try to float to the Alakazam. I better have Coco in this situation here. And I'm gonna attach a basic energy to the Alakazam here. And I will pass my turn. So next turn, I'm hoping to draw an Al Mega Alakazam, or I can search it out with Ultra Ball. No, I'm probably not going to switch over the Ultra because I, I will lose my hand. So I'm just going to basically the end next turn. He plays Brooklyn Hill, which allows the a same card which allows you to search for a water or a fighting type from your deck and put it to your bench. Instead of Arcane EX, which was both do a water and fighting a fly, fire type. He tries to end it to his Turninator. He plays a Sycamore again. He's got a Guzmo Subban and Shauna. He plays so drops out Baby Volcanion. And he's gonna see a cell trap on only 20, which is okay. So the next time I'm gonna do is I'm going to I drew a Guzma. So I'm going to attach the spirit link to my Alakazam with the energy on it, and I'm gonna play the end. Hopefully draw a mega and another energy so I can start hitting for damage right away. Okay, then unfortunately I didn't draw any mega. But I'm gonna try a super scoop up the hooper so I can get out of mega. Let's see if I hit it. And I do not afford this. The only thing I can really do is attach to the baby. I can to the Alakazam EX. And then I'm going to play the Thrill Blower. Just going on the Brooklyn Hill on the Choice Band. And I'm going to pass again. Okay. That's what my opponent does now. Plays the Ultra Ball discarding. A Volcanion and a Fire Energy to search out for Star You. They play one Star, a Star You, Star Me line. Where Star Me has an ability called Space Beacon, which pretty much says you just got one card from your hand to get two energy, water energy from the squad, probably put it to your and put it to your um, hand. Okay, so you're going to buy frame, knocking out the um, knocking out the baby Coco, takes a prize. I'm gonna, promote, I'm gonna promote the Alakazam with the float zone, so I can be able to retreat it. Let's see what I draw. I draw another psychic energy. I'm gonna attach a float zone to the Hooper. I'm going to drop a Wangaroo. I'm gonna instruct first for one. Let's see what I get with. Actually, I'm gonna let me attach the energy to the Alakazam without the float zone. And I'm going to Wangaroo for one. Two, actually, I'm sorry. I draw a double N. I'd rather play N so I get more cards out of it. Okay, where are my Megas? Okay, I did get one Mega, but I can get two as well. Unfortunately, I cannot knock out the Terminator just yet. So I'm going to attach the Spirit Link. Not, actually, I'm not going to attach. Actually, I will attach. I'm going to put two on the Active. And one on the Star U, so he can't use his uh, Star Me. Then I'm going to attach the Spirit Link to the other Alakazam. I'm going to Ultra Ball and Double DCE, which hurts, but... It's okay, I can always get him back. 
Okay, I can't get it back. I don't play special shot. I'm gonna search for another Mega Alexami X. So I'm going to evolve it. Put two on the turn. Uh, the I'm gonna put two. Uh, we're gonna stall me, knock out the stall me on the bench. And I'm going to take a prize, which is another Ultra Ball, which is okay. I'm going to retreat. And I'm going to send out the other Alakazam. Mega Alakazam. I'm going to hit for Zen Force for 130, which does. It is too short for knocking out the uh, Terminator. Now it's his turn again. Well, the good thing is he doesn't have a really big attacker, so he can't really hit me for big. Well, if I get a roller, I can just scoop up. If it hits me, I can scoop up this Alakazam and promote the other one. Then knock it out that way. Okay, we're gonna see a steam up, which pretty much says we just got a fire energy. All your basic fire Pokemon do 30 more damage. Good turn only. Drops another Turninator down. We see a choice band. It's actually turn it on the bench. And we see a Nitro Tank GX, so pretty much says you can search your deck to discover the fire fire energy. You just uh, you attach it to any Pokemon any Pokemon anywhere you like. So he's gonna attach three to Tornado, one to a baby volcano, and one to Volcano AX. And I draw a Guzma, which is not really gonna do anything for me. So I'm gonna uh Kokoi, see what I get. A little in the Ace Roller, which I can hold on to later. And now I'm going to knock out the active with Zen Force. 540 damage, that's a lot of damage right there. So we'll take out two prizes Super Scoop Up and Ultra Ball. Okay, I'll take those. So he's gonna send out the Terminator with the Choice Pen. Search the Pace Professor Letter. Touch the Ledger, search the training basic energy, put them to your hand. So you can search out two fire. He only really needs one steam to make on my other exam. Drops out on the Volcan AX. We're gonna see a steam up. Let's see what he does next. Tether's the fourth energy to the Terminator. And he's bright lit frame to knock me out. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to promote the baby Hooper. Actually, Hooper, yeah, I'm sorry, not baby. He's not the baby. Okay, I'm going to draw an N. I'm going to try a super scoop up this Alakazam with the floatstone. I did hit it, so which is good. So I can get Alakazam back and the floatstone back. I'm going to attach the floatstone to a Rangaroo. I'm going to Ultra Ball, discarding the N and the. Guzma, because it's not gonna really do anything for much. I'm gonna search for a baby Coco. Let me see, I'm gonna make sure I have both my other DC in the deck. And I do, which is good. I need to draw at least one of them right now. Then I'm gonna Lily for five cards. So I, need, I do need to spray here, which is very important. I can enjoy it, but I did draw a Spirit Link for next turn. So I'm going to attach to this Alakazam. And then I'm probably going to send out the Rangaroo just to stall. It's not a bad play here. Just because I draw another DC. And I'll pass. Let's see what he does now. I need to spy. I, I gotta stop spider with Coco. See what my opponent does here. He has a float stone to the Volcania on the bench. My opponent does. He's gonna go for a shell trap for 20 damage. Oh, he gets a Guzma. Send it out there like a Zam. He's probably gonna send a Lele. 
Oh, he's gonna send out Baby Volcanion. Which is okay, so I got pretty much Ace of Wall out, so he's gonna hit it. It's gonna power here for 20 damage. Trying to use those energies to uh, Volcanion and Lele. And I draw another Super Scoop up, which is good. So I'm going to attach this early. I'm going to. Vol to Mega Max. I'm going to put two on the Volcanium. I'm going to put three on the Terminator GX. And I'm going to Ace Roller. I'm going to pick it up. And I'm going to send out Oranguru again. I'm going to drop an Alakazam. And then... Uh, I'm going to pass. Yeah, I'll pass. For this turn. Next time I can get a I get turned in as much damage cards as possible. And then this one can knock it out. We're gonna see another power heater. Power here does 20 base damage. Yeah, we are gonna see another power heater. We'll attach another fire energy to his turninator. And another energy to his Lele. I draw another Mega Alakazam. So I'm going to. I'm going to um, attach the link. I'm going to another Mega Alakazam. Let's put two on the bit active and three, three on the Terminator. I'm going to try a Super Scoop of Lele. Unfortunately, it doesn't work, which I didn't want that to happen. So you can just knock me out with a Terminator, which I don't want. I'm going to pass again. I want to super score Lele so I can get Guzma and knock out the turn hand on the bench. We see a Max Elixir. And like he hits it. Let's see, what's it, where's it gonna go to? It's gonna go to the Volcano with the energy on it already. Are we going to see another power here? No, we're gonna see a second one this time. The squad in Volcanian, Stormy, and Acerola. Okay, this is gonna feel blower. Getting ready to probably have the float stone, of course, on the Rangaru. Place the Bookla Hill. And we're probably gonna see another power hitter here, most likely. I think I still have one float I will still have one more float stone in the deck. I think I still have one super scoop in the deck as well. I do, yes. Attach a float stone to the Volcano, the baby Volcanian. Is so he gonna retreat to Lele, probably? Yes, it's gonna attach to Lele. So Lele's gonna hit me for only 80, so it won't knock me out just yet. Okay, so let's see what we draw. We draw another Ultra Ball. I think I'm gonna waste the Ultra Ball now. This, this two, I'm not gonna get anything. I want to see the other folks going still in the deck. Okay, it is, which is good. And I'm gonna use my Magalu's ability. It's try to draw two for two. I do a field blower and ace roll. I can ace roll at that, but it's no point of me doing so. I'm going to get the field blower, get rid of the float stone on the Mechanic and the church man on the Terminator. And I'm just gonna pass again. There's no, way to, there's no point to Ace of Roller right now. And we're going to see it just an energy drive for 80. I'm going to send out Baby Coco. Okay, I draw an Espeon, which Espeon I don't really need. I don't need to, need to Ultra Roller. There's no really the point of Ultra Roller for anything else at the moment. Um... I can't bring out the Tornado because he might knock out the Alakazam. Uh, I'm going to just use the Ultra Ball to thin out my deck a little bit. Uh, there's no point in me sending Hoopa, so I'm not going to bring out Hoopa. I'm going to pass again. I'm doing a miracle right now. This is just a Guzma. He has a Choice Band to the Tornado again, and we're going to send all Energy Drive for 80. Okay, we draw a Guzma, which is perfect. 
I'm going to Guzma of the Terminator. I'm going to bring out my Malaga Alagazam. I'm going to use Zen Force for the knockout. Thank you, thank you. Well, that is well played. Well played to you too. Take two prizes. I got a Psychic Energy and, another, and my fourth Super Scooper, which is great. Let's see, what, I, what would I do with that Super Scooper? Let's see, are we going to see? What are we, what are we going to see? I can't, I can't win the air because I, he, uh, my second Guzman is in my discard pile, so I, and there's no way for me to get it back. Chad is the fifth energy to Lele, fifth energy to Lele. And we're gonna see Lele, we're gonna see a pile of big energy drive here for 140. I think, that's what it looks like to me. I just broke the hills for nothing, so yeah, probably has nothing left. We see it end me down to one, which is fine. He ends down to, down to two. Okay, I draw on psychic energy, which no, makes no use for me here. We see a big energy drive for 140. Okay, I draw another psychic, which is not useful for me. I'm gonna retreat. Uh, let me see. This, wait, maybe let's attack the energy first. I think I'm gonna send on my my. My Lele here myself. So you can't really one shot it. I would treat. Send it out send it out. And then pass it. Let's see what he gets. Homie doesn't have a deal with Guzman. If he gets Guzman, he lo I win. I lose. See a sycamore? Oh, he's down the one card of his deck. If I can survive this turn, I will be fine. Let's see what we see with that. We see a whole GX. And we see an energy drive for 100. 120, I'm sorry, my, my mistake. Alright, so I draw a sycamore. Oh, sycamore is going to help me here. Maybe we treat a send out Coco. I'm going to second more. Okay, I did get the DC with so, but I did not get the, double, the super scuba which I wanted. I'm going to super rod. My Alakazam line, and I'll super. Uh, I wish I got my energy back. I think I'm just gonna go for a flying field. I just gotta pray he doesn't have another Guzma. Let's see how many he's used so far. Let me take a quick look at that pile. He's used two already. I don't know if he plays a third. We'll see a flying flip here. We'll just do a flying flip. Okay, let's see what happens. This is the last card. He has to win this turn. Oh, okay. So rest is scratcher. So he's not he's not decked out just yet. Okay, so he puts Star You, Star Me, and turn it back to his deck. And he plays the end again. He's probably gonna like all my uh, my my uh I draw a float stone. Okay, so I'm gonna probably promote hoop in this case. Okay, but we see an energy drive for 140. Probably should have swept by my other Coco. So I can just spread again. So okay, so my turn again. I draw oh, I draw a super squad. I need this to work. I unfortunately deny, which sucks. Uh I'll pass, I'll leave Hoopa in the active. Here we see Android for 100. Let's see what I draw next. I draw a double color, which is not really, it's not really gonna help me in this situation. So the energy, I'll be 10 short with the energy drive, because we only do it 140. Okay, I'm gonna send out the other Mega Alakazam, and I hope that I draw energy so I can retreat for it. We see energy drive for 100. She ran the energy drive twice to knock me out. I draw a spirit link. Whoops. Alright, so I got a pass, which I can't really do nothing with that spirit link. I gotta pray he doesn't have another fire energy. 
and he does not. So, so let's see what I got with this. Oh my god, I mean, I lose this one. I can't retreat. Yeah, I, I, he's got this one. Yeah, I couldn't retreat with it, unfortunately. Alright, it was a good game, though. It was a very nice, fun game. Hope you guys watch and see how they power the deck. I didn't know Spare with Coco with that one more often. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Okay, now we're going to show the summary. Bye for now.